All right, so looking at a priority list based on the die graph. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to make a schedule based on this die graph down here, this direction graph, and this priority list above. So the priority list is G, F, E, D, C, B, A. So that means if all these were open, they're all independent, nothing had to be done previously, G would be the top priority followed by F, E, D, C, B, A. Okay, it works down. Now, when you make this, we're going to use two processors on this, so we're going to have P1 and P2. So when you make this, the first thing you have to identify is which ones can we start with. All right, if this is my starting and this is my ending, I've got to go, all right. So the only ones I can start with, I have to start with either A, B, or C. Those are my starting ones, okay, because those are the ones that from the start I can go to. All the other ones I have to D and F and E and G, I have to pass through either A, B, or C. So now, once I have those identified, I look back at my priority list. Which one occur occurs first? The first one that occurs in my priority list, the top priority, is C. So that means under the first processor, I'm going to put C, C9. Right. So now C9 is in process. B and A are still open. After that, I look at, okay, for my second processor, what is it? And the next one on my priority list is B, so I'm going to go B5 on my next one. Okay, and now that one's in process. So now you see A isn't working yet. Now we wait, we go until 5 whenever the first one ends, so in this case it's going to be there. Okay, so now B is done. Now does any open? None of them opens because the one that B goes to is D, but we need A to be completed first, or as well, to do D. So since that's not the case, the only one left open is A. So we're going to add A onto here, which would be A8. Okay. So that's in process. B is done now. Okay. And now we go on to the next one. So the next one would be C is done at 9. So now when C is done, which one opens? Well, E opens. So now that E opens, what we have here is that E is the only one that's open, so we add E here. So E6, E6. That's in process. And then we go until the next one done is done, which would be A. So when A is done, D opens. And then we're going to add D. D12, like my band, and after that we wait until E is done. And then when E is done, we add the next one that opens up, which would be G. So we add G2. And now since that ends before D ends, we're going to have some idle time. And then when D ends, F opens up, giving us F1. And then we have idle time. And then we would add this up, whatever our total would be, which looks like it's going to be about 26, about 26 time. And that's how you work with the die graph and the priority list. All right, and this was number 30. Now, uh, 33 and 34 where it says explain why these two come up with the same schedule. What you're looking at is you're looking at the group. So you look at the first four in each and you see that it's the same four letters. And the last three are the same letters, just in a different order. Okay. So since it's going, it's going to be in the same basic schedule, because when you look at A, B, D, and F, that's all the top. A, B, D, F is on top. So that means we're focused on the top before we focus on the bottom is basically what's happening. Okay. So what's going to happen is that it's going to end up with the exact same graph as above because we're focused on the top in both of these and then we focus on the bottom. And that's why you just write something along there. Okay.